how we are seeing the leaders. See, people follow the leaders, let's say. So the system has to change and let us remember the resilience speaks today. Whatever is best possible we should do and the best judge is a conscious. So nobody will see. Conscious permits you should do. Conscious is not permitting, you should not do. Like that, if you are you yourself judge in it, then things will happen. To eliminate, it is not a single person or me. It's like, it should be like a movement. Like citizen movement. As a citizen, we are supposed to educate our own. Yes, throughout time saying educate. What exactly the corruption, corruption matter and the, how we can eliminate. See, as an officer from so IT, what we can do? We identify the area, areas prone for corruption and try to seal it one by one. So that at the end, the area prone for corruption has got sealed. It is, there is no opportunity available to think even. So when there is no thinking, even there is a thinking, there is no opportunity, then the corruption will automatically go down. After some time, it will be getting eliminated from the root itself. When something is eliminated from the root, <coughs> there is no chance to come again. So the corruption is not the so new phenomena to India, you are aware. First, we have to change ourselves to expect what we are going to see. So, the rest of things, in fact, our servers have covered. They may cover also. Now, this, because this is part and parcel of the vigilance awareness we are being a CBO of this unit. Let me stop from here for giving even in any activity of corruption, two sides are involved. The person who gives and the person who accepts. Both. Maybe we can start with the second end. Don't accept. Because most of us like to give for what reason? Because our job is to be done. It is to be done speedily, without any difficulty. That's why it's called speed money also. So, so long as we have a society which puts a premium on not getting things done on time, not getting things done in a quality, quality wise, we will have this problem of corruption. I mean to any organization, how do you minimize? I would not say eliminate, that would be very ambitious, difficult to achieve. We can certainly aim to minimize corruption. So, to start with, we have to identify which are the areas which are prone to corruption in our day-to-day -day life or activities, especially at the organization. Our improvement is not to the required level. So, that is why we need every year Vigilance Awareness Week still for some more time. Maybe I wish after a few years that this type of Vigilance Week will be in our mind. Every year only one week we just see some essay competition go. Not like that. It is embedded in our thought. That means we do our work, whatever which is assigned to our work without any delay to our commitment wise if you do there is no need of vigilance there is no need of corruption will come where corruption comes when you are delaying your work and when you are not doing the work what is expected from you so with this ita people definitely we are coming up we are improving maybe the improvement fastest has to come very fast so let us commit ourselves whatever work is given to us whether it is monitored or whether it is not monitored we will do within time and with total our commitment. With this definitely we can improve.